Hey y'all, it's Janie Beans. Welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge Vampire. Um, the last time we were here, Adam grew up. We found out that he is a little vampire goth, and so we decorated, um, uh, it's really the living room is what it's meant to be, but because we don't have a lot of money and we don't need a lot of room right now because it's just the two of us, I have made this into a multi-purpose room with the um, toddler, all the needs of the toddlers are going to be able to be met in this room. Um, they have toys, they have books, they have games, they have their bed and their high chair and their potty. So everything they need is in this um, big multi-purpose room. And um, at the very beginning of the video, I will have shown me quickly decorating this um, this area. We didn't do a lot of changes. Um, really simple kind of stuff here. So Emily is going to feed little Adam. Um because he's hungry. Oh, well, I skipped it on accident. So we're gonna give him some food. We'll give him some applesauce because it's early in the morning. So we'll feed him really quick and then we'll pop him in the bed and that will work for his needs. Um, let's see where her needs are. She needs to um, do some quick vampire dark meditation. So we'll do that while he eats. You can eat and just grab some, grab the applesauce and eat it, buddy. Go ahead and eat that applesauce, bud. Anytime now. You can do it. Eat the applesauce. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. Mommy's just taking a quick little nap. You get some food in you. I guess we should get a um, radio soon too because that's going to be helpful uh -huh. <laughs> with that. So let's talk to him while he eats. We're going to have a little friendly chat. Get to know. Nope, he just plopped right through the chair there. <laughs> have a little chat. That'll help add his communication skill and we're gonna try really hard to make sure that all of our toddlers have good good skills um, I'd like to get at least three on all of the skills before they age up that's my personal goal okay so no don't go to bed by yourself let mommy read you to sleep because that helps you build your imagination skill <laughs> and she is a um, family oriented to him, so she's going to want to do that kind of thing for her babies. Um, this challenge is really all about the babies, if you think about, like, yeah, she has to get pregnant all the time, but it's because she loves babies. She loves her kids, and everything she does, she does for them, just wants to have a lot of them to do things for because she loves them so much. So she's going to read him to sleep and she is in her second trimester. We're going to be at 13 to 19 hours. So hopefully she'll be getting into her third trimester when we end the video. We'll go ahead and put it on the high, well, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the high speed is too fast, but... We'll put it on high speed because I'm going to send her to sleep. Oh, she's having morning sickness. That's why she's up. Okay, well, we'll send her back to bed then because I guess she's still sleepy. And then when she gets up, we'll have her clean the toilet and write the rest of her book. Do we want to join Spin Masters? Sure, we'll join, but we're not going anywhere right now. But we we joined. I've never um, done the DJ thing, so I think that might be fun to try and do some things that haven't ever done before. Does anyone else wish that it was dark longer? Okay, she finished the book, and it was at least good. So we're going to run out to the mailbox. 
to publish our best book. Let's see which one's the best. We have Secret Circle, which is excellent, and also the short stories ones will probably sell the best. But yeah, I think we can do both of them. We're gonna try to do both of them. There's one thing that you have you can only do like once a week. So cute with her little baby bump. Okay, now we're back in the house. No, don't stand there and read a book in the sunlight, weirdo. We're back in the book. We're back. There we go. Okay. So that was slow. <laughs> okay, and then the last episode we finally got our frogs. So we're gonna breed the frogs. That way we always have an extra frog. So we want to take one of these and create a plasma pack. And take one of these and create a plasma pack. And there we go. So now we have three frogs and two plasma packs. And see how we, we only have one fish, but the fish is fine. Like, we can just keep the fish for forever. Let's see. Where's our... We don't have a trash can. Okay, let's pop into build mode and buy one of those fancy schmancy trash cans that gives us a bunch of dollars, simoleons. Um... Gives us some millions whenever we throw stuff away in it. Well, of course we can't afford it because it's expensive. So I guess we'll just wait and save up for it then. And we'll just wash the stuff in the sink for now. Oh, she's going to clean it up on her own. Thanks, Emily. That's so sweet of you. Okay, so let's read some more in the book. Oh, reread. Does that mean that she's already read as much as she can? What's her skill look like? Six, yeah. She's learned everything from this book. Okay. That's understandable. So, let's see if we can buy the next one. How expensive? 150 It's worth it to get our skill up. She'll have that book for, and when he gets older, he'll need to learn also about vampire lore. What kind of froggies do we have? We have a striped leaf frog, a leaf frog, and a sunflower frog. So, the baby's awake, Adam's awake. Alright, what does he want? What does he need? He's hungry. Oh, he's asking. He's asking for food. Is mommy going to give him some food? Yes, she's going to take care of that for him. She's a very good mommy so far. She's, um, I haven't had to really get her to do anything for him. She's doing it basically by herself, so that's great. It's good when there are good mommies and you don't have to, oh, she's giving him peas for breakfast. Uh, well, it's seven, it's seven in the evening and he just woke up. Oh my goodness. His days and nights are mixed up, just like a real baby. That happens sometimes. Let's see. She'll be in her third trimester in five hours, guys. So fast. I'm so excited. Um, did we ever figure out what all of his traits were? So he's pretty happy. He's a happy baby. Because he's angelic. That's probably why. We got lucky with our first baby being angelic. He wants to play with the nesting blocks, so she can let him out. And she can clean up this bowl. And then she can potty train him. And then she can. Oh, they became good friends. She can drink a plasma pack. And yeah, so we've got a few things for her to do. 
potty training the babe. Since they're potty training, they can pretty much do everything on their own as long as you give them food. So, I wonder if we really even need a kitchen at this point. Do you guys know, can we delete the refrigerator or do we have to keep a refrigerator? I guess we don't need like a stove though. Not really, we could delete the stove, especially since she doesn't eat. Like she can't eat because she has a withered stomach weakness. We could delete the stove and that would give us more money for other things that we can actually use. He's thinking about money. <laughs> How cute. How sweet are they? Let's see if we can breed our frogs again. We want to keep breeding them so that we always have plenty of frogs to have to create Posma packs. Oh, we brought a new frog. This is a tiger frog. So now we have an uncommon one. Should we put one of them on the on the bookshelf for decoration. Have a little froggy. I wonder how long we have to wait. Does anybody know the time frame so that I can time it better? Because right now it's just kind of like random whenever I remember to look. I finally found the meshes for the rugs that I was telling you guys about. I love these rugs, they're so cute. How are his skills looking so far? Alright, so his movement's getting up there. See what his needs look like. Put him to bed soon because... <laughs> he is a whiny little thing, isn't he? Okay. We are going to do that and... Oh my goodness, she's already in her third trimester, y'all. That is awesome. We are going to go ahead and stretch this out for her to have her baby. I hope you guys don't mind. I don't know how long it'll be, but I really am excited about the new babies. So, yeah. So, we're going to stretch it out a little further. Um, I'm doing a bunch of pre-recording these videos. Um, I'm going to start trying to um, upload them every other day like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays um, so I wanted to go ahead and have some because school starts back after spring break and I'm sure that I'll be super busy so I wanted to make sure that I have enough stuff for you guys so that you're not um, waiting for me to post like you did this week when I was sick I like to be so he's asking for a story she's going to read you to sleep anyway so I don't know if they'll do both but anyways, like I was saying, I'm working on a schedule of recording and posting so that you guys will have, um, you know, a more standard that is like, you'll know if, if you like this, this, um, this challenge, but you don't like the non Berry challenge, so you don't want to come back and check every day to see which ones I've posted, you know, you'll know which days I'm posting which ones, so I'm trying to work on that schedule. I'm taking the summer of school off, so... I'm really excited to take the summer off because I started school back to school last summer and I've never usually take summer off. I usually go straight through. Um, I got my associate's degree last time and I'm working towards my bachelor's this time and I have been going since last summer like and so I didn't get to have any fun last summer. <laughs> I mean, we did go on vacation, my family, um, but we went, like, during spring break, and it was really early still, so we didn't get to do a lot of, um, of stuff because it was so early, and it was, like, really windy, and so there wasn't a lot of beach time, and I would have liked to have spent more time on the beach. We rented a boat one day and went out, and I just... We're planning on going this year um, in May, maybe, or in June or July, even, depending on how long it takes us to save up the cash to go, so, but I'm really looking forward to it, but anyways, I'm running off on a tangent while tangent again, sorry guys. Um, the point is, I'm coming up with a recording and posting schedule 
for my channel so that everything has a day that it can be expected to come out and I'm going to try to stick as close to that as possible because right now it's really random you just kind of like get whatever I've done <laughs> gets put on there and there's not really a plan so she's oh she's a what's she doing is she trolling the forums Ugh. she is mischievous all on her own um, let's write a book. Let's write a playful book since we're in a playful mood. That's always fun to write the different, um, the different books based on their moods. They're always fun. So we'll, we'll speed through because I know that you guys are probably as anxious as I am about her next baby being born. <laughs> Artsy fartsy, it's a gas. This is a playful book. You don't say. With a name like that, I, I was thinking it was a drama. Um, it's probably like a book of jokes or something. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm yawning. I'm so exhausted. And it's like I've slept so much. No, we're not going to a party outside. Thanks for trying to kill us, though, Joffrey. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I've been sleeping so much because I'm sick, but I'm still tired. Like, it's like the more I sleep, the more tired I am instead of the other way around. Oh, you never, you never can tell with me. I'm either a sleepy or, like, I'm on this, sometimes I get really wired. <laughs> and I'll just be, like, running a mile a minute. You know, something other than my mouth running a mile a minute. So we're going to speed through her book and hopefully on to her baby before the end of the episode. This will probably be the last episode that I do for a while. Or, not for a while, but the last one that I pre-record today. Um, I think this is the third. Well, I did episode 5 and then I posted episode 5. And then I've done 6, 7, and this is 8. So I will have... I have Saturdays, I have Tuesdays, I have Thursdays, so. Oh, it looks like the last two books that we posted got us pretty good, pretty good amount of money. Oh, our bills are here. We have 48 hours to pay them. Thankfully, we have enough money to pay them. Our book's almost done, so we'll finish the book before we do anything else. We'll pay the bills. And then let's check on Adam. He's hungry. He's always hungry. Good food. We'll give him cereal. I guess if she's just gonna, she'll do it in her own way. I think it's so cute. I just love the toddlers. I was saying I I didn't play um, The Sims 4 very much because there weren't toddlers and I felt like it was really, really missing something. The gameplay really was missing something, at least the family play. Um, I like The City Living came out and then you could kind of play like, you know, if you're in the city and you're a single person, a single sim in the city and you don't really want to have the um, you know, responsibility of having a baby or a toddler or child or anything. So it's kind of, it was fun then, like in playing as vampires because they don't age. So, okay, now we're vampires and we're living in the city. So it's okay that there's not toddlers. But anytime I wanted to have a family, I really felt like there was something missing from the families. Um, whenever, you know, you have a baby and then, okay, three days later, now they're a child. Like that's so unrealistic that it was really hard for me to play just because it just didn't make any sense at all so I was so glad when they came out with the toddlers and it was such a surprise like they didn't say that they were coming out it was just like oh there's an update B2 dubs they um there's toddlers so it was pretty awesome so she's gonna have a baby any minute I'm so excited do you guys think it's gonna be a boy or girl I think 
think that it's going to be a girl. I'd like for it to be a girl because we already have a boy. And he wants to play with a toy. Well, he wants to take his clothes off. So we can do that. We can take clothes off and then play with a toy. Which toy do we want to play with? We'll play with Chompy the monster. <laughs> He's running around naked. That's so funny. So she's going to clean this up. And we'll go out here and put. Oh, he's going to run around outside naked. That's okay. He's a baby. That pick was excellent. Oh, did we reach our goal? We did, I bet. We did. So now we have to achieve level six writing. Oops. Achieve level six writing skill, publish 10 books, and write five excellent books. So we can do that, no problem. So go back inside so you don't get too hot. And. When is that baby coming? Any time now would be great. She's going to go check on him. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing running around naked? Um... Dance to stereo music. Well, we'd have to have a stereo to dance to stereo music. I think we will get a stereo in the next episode. What's wrong? He's oh, he's having a crash. We must have given him sugar. We must have given him some kind of um, cookies or something during the last meal. Oh, is it because he's playing we can't do anything with him? Yeah. Go get him dressed and then potty train him. We'll try to get his skills up so we can age him up. We want to age them up as quickly as possible so that we can have more babies. Although, if it was up to me, they would just all be toddlers all the time. They're just so cute. I love them. As toddlers, they're my favorite. What's your favorite age or life state for you guys? Oh, he wants to take a bath. Okay. That's fine for you. You want to take a bath instead of potty training. Cute. Let's get some clothes on this kiddo, huh? Pretty sure I said that already. More friendly care. Change outfit. Put on every day. I'll go ahead and put those pajamas on him. And now try to potty train him. <laughs> dag, dag. Ugh, come on. Go into labor. <laughs> uh, she's taking forever. Look how cute she is with her little baby bump. He's like, um, thinking about it. I'm thinking about going potty mom. Oh, excuse me guys, I'm so sorry. That's why I'm gonna have to quit recording today. I just I don't even I can't even keep going. I do want her to have these babies though. Baby babies, whatever. I hope it's multiples. That would be fun to have multiples this early. We need to breed our frogs again. Oh, because he had a he had an accident when he went potty. What is she gonna give him now? 
All right, guys, I don't know. I really want her to have these babies, but it's like, ah. The third trimester takes so long, it seems like. Let that baby out of there. Let's put him to bed. We'll read him a story, and if she doesn't go into labor, guys, I guess we're just going to have to... I guess we'll have to stop it and just have a cliffhanger until the next time. I'm trying to not waste time in build mode when we're trying to rush the baby. Rush that baby. Rush and rush and that baby. Okay, so she still is not in labor, guys. I don't know how long this is taking. It's taking so long. So, no, we're not going to see bears. We are having this baby. We're going to have it. I'm going to keep fast forwarding it, guys. I'm going to... Maybe we can cut so that it's not so long. I can try to cut it in to where she's going to have the baby. Oh, goodness. She's taking forever. Let's go outside and find someone to eat. We seem to always have luck when we're trying to, to grab a snack. We always have... That's when he's an invisible person. <laughs> Who is this invisible person? Brenna Joy. Brenna Joy. You're a vampire. So can't drink from you. That's unfortunate. What about Miko Ojo? We can drink from you. It seems like when I have told her to go get a drink outside in the past when she's this pregnant, that's when she had her, when she went into labor with Aiden, Aiden, Adam, Adam, Adam. I can't remember how to say his name. So we're going to go have us a drinky drink from this guy out here, a girl. It's a girl. Um, Miko, I think her name is. We'll have a little sip. There we go. And that makes her feel better. Goodness gracious. I guess I'm really upset that her baby is not here. Who's this? Who is this eagle looking gentleman? Do we know him? I feel like we have never met him before. Let's see. We'll ask about his day. I know he's having a negative reaction to us right now, but how does he even know? Like, he just walked up. He doesn't know what happened. Oh, I think we're in labor. I think we're about to go into labor. It's blinking. It's blinking. How long are they in their third trimester for? Does anybody know? Okay, she is in labor now. It's go time. Let's take it back to the house and buy a baby crib. So we can have our babies. Our baby. I think it's going to be multiples. I keep, I just feel like it in my heart. I feel it in my heart. I'll probably be wrong because I've said it so many times. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Um, we can't afford only one of these. We're, you know what? Since we're already in here, we're going to sell our stove because we don't need a stove. I don't feel like we need a stove. We're going to move that over. Oh, whatever. We're going to sell it too for now. Um, we'll fix it later. Because we're going to buy two of these because I feel, I feel like there might be multiples and I don't want to be wrong. I want to be right. I want us to have twins. 
triplets would be awesome, but I've never had triplets. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and buy three. Well, we're going to wishful thinking this thing. We're going to hope for triplets. So, I'm going to go here. Sorry this ran so long, y'all. I just really wanted to have the babies. Now I'm just waiting for her to show up at the house. Okay, it's time. More choices. Have baby. It's time. Let's see what happens. Emily is having a baby. What are we? Oh, we had a baby girl. Oh, what is the last name? Lichen. Right? Is that spelled right? I can fix it. If it's not spelled right, I can fix it in, um, later. So we're looking for the first B. The first B name that we find. Oh, Asia would have been pretty. But we're not doing A. We're doing B. Baby. Audrina, that's a pretty name. When I was, oh, Brittany. Brittany LeChen, that's her name. How many baby? Just one. Ah, only one. I was so convinced that we were going to have multiples, and there's just one. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so disappointed, and I made you guys wait so long for just one. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna go for now. I've made you guys wait so long for one baby, but, um, I hope that you guys will like the video and subscribe for more of Emily Sweet's journey on her quest to have 100 babies. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye.